Hi, I'm Andrew Cornelius. I love food, and I'm feeling a little hungry. I've got plenty of recipes to choose from here. I just, no, I don't have any ingredients for that. All right. Did someone take my olive oil? Okay, no, it's not in there either. Okay, that fish is from six years ago. Nope, no, no. <laughs> I can't be bothered with this. Nah, I should go out and just eat it. Behold, loyal viewers, like Zeus from Mount Olympus, I have descended among the mere mortals to New Haven. I'm hungry for Greek food, which means for me, I'm going to be dining at the Greek Olive. It's real calm, it's real nice, um, has a really nice setup. The atmosphere here is very warm, uh, people are very caring. It's convenient, there's good parking. Parking! And the food is excellent. Tony and Anna uh, run this place like I'm sure they run their home. Very efficient and full of love. My name is Tony Antonakis and this is my wife Anna. Hi. What are your favorite parts about running the Greek Olive? Cocktail hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, usually meeting new people all the time is my favorite part of the business. I have to say that's my favorite part too. So what is the, the roles and responsibilities between the two of you here? I basically take care of like the expediting the food, coming up with new recipes, creating new things, just you know, oversight of like the back of the house. Tony's more of the Tony's more like everything else. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a community center uh, where folks in New Haven can congregate, eat. Uh, and get great service on great food. This place is known for its Greek hospitality. Uh, what, are, what are some of your favorite things to make? We do a lot of things. We bake our baklava here, we make our Greek cookies here. We do a little bit of everything. Uh, I think we're gonna make some of it for you today. We're gonna be doing a shrimp balandonis. Oh. It's gonna be something you really like. And our other one we're doing today is a chicken up lemon. Fantastic. My favorite breakfast is the extra crispy uh, corned beef hash, uh, the eggs over easy, and the great gluten-free toast and rolls they have here. Favorite food here is the Greek salad. All right, so I'm backstage now in what I like to call the cooking area, AKA the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make the chicken of lemon for you. Two main ingredients for Greek food, lemon and dill. Can you smell the dill? No, you can't, because it's television. Fresh lemon juice, not the bottle. Can I put both of them at the same time? Yeah, you? absolutely. So I'm gonna start with sauteing the chicken. So you're coating the chicken there? So you coat the, you coat the chicken on a little flour and wait for the oil to get hot. For the shrimp, we saute the shrimp in butter. I use butter because it gives better flavor. Once it's sauteed, we top it with uh, feta cheese and we bake it. Checking in on this chicken here. Oh, the chicken is turning a nice golden color right there. Tony, you're a multitasker. You got the chicken going, you got the shrimp going. You peel the shrimp. Here I have chicken stock. Yep. The mushrooms go in there and the artichokes. And you let it simmer. Get all those flavors mixed yes. together? Yes. A lot of dill. Yeah, you're being pretty generous with that dill. dill yeah, there, yeah. Right? Dill, dill and lemon is very popular with Greek food. So with the shrimp, I put the pork in it, the sweet wine. I let it simmer to get the, uh, the alcohol out. Now that's a tragedy, letting the alcohol out. The alcohol should go back in. Then we add the tomatoes. Oh, look at the color on that. That's yes. really impressive. So basically, this needs a little time to simmer. That's it. How's it look? It looks terrific. I'm impressed you're running both skillets at the same time. <laughs> Have you done this before? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I've done it before, yes. Always. Oh, I can Always. smell that dill and lemon just cooking in there. That's great. Yeah. And then we put the shrimp here. I can smell how uh, sweet that is out there, yeah. uh, both from the combination of the cherry tomatoes and, and the, the wine. dessert wine. I'm giving a little bath with some of that and sauce the there. Juice. And then we top it with the feta cheese. And we bake it for 10 minutes. To the oven. The staff is fantastic. The service is top of the line, and the food is outstanding. Ah, of course, the entrees aren't enough. We've got to have full dipping sauces and house-made grape leaves, pita bread there, olives. I mean, that is the namesake. Is this falafel here? That's a falafel, yes. Ah, and that's, that's for starting the meal? That's not for... Uh, well, just, you can... You it's know, it's you, a starter, but now that we have everything on the table... Right. <laughs> starter, finisher, mid-level, Second meal, third lunch, long dinner, whatever. So remember the shrimp that we saw before. As you can see now, the cheese is not only just melted, but on the top, we got like kind of a, a nice crispiness to it. Over here, the chicken, mmm. Again, sorry TV. But the, the problem is, 
Uh, this sauce is for me and not you. And no. Lynn Jobs. I hope you hung, I hope you guys are hungry. <laughs> Greeks are known for the lamb chops. Behold is I, Zeus, the eater of food. Well, let's start with the starter. Yes. Uh, let's see, let's start. see uh, how, how you did it here. Yeah, okay, thank you. Mm. Stuff with the rice and the flavoring. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. A lot of deal. So I've got uh, a lollipop, but not the lollipop you know. No, this is the Greek lollipop right here. <laughs> this is the lamb lollipop. Correct. Mmm. Oh, Tony, cook to perfection. Mm. The Greeks are known for the lamb. I guess I, Tony, you're going to be known for the lamb. <laughs> this is great. Mm. All right, Tony, so I've got the chicken here. You don't here. want to overcook the chicken no. because then it dries up. Pretty simple sauce. Let's, let's give it a shot. I'm very skeptical. Simple, very simple. Mushroom, lemon juice, and dill. Oh, there it is. All fresh flavors, none of them overpowering. Uh, you put in so much dill, and yet I'm thinking just enough, just right. This is great. Lamb chop, chicken, and now I'm going to try some seafood. All right. Oh. Oh. Mm. None of the flavor of the shrimp is lost. All right. of it is enhanced. I've got sweetness and like almost a vermouth taste from the sweet wine and the cherry tomatoes. Mm. I mean, as if we haven't had enough cheese, but there's always a possibility, right? So, <laughs> mm. I guess there's no such thing as too much cheese, no, right? No, never. Not in Greek food? Not in the feta. No, not in feta. That's the correct answer. When it comes to feta, the answer is never enough. <sighs> oh. I had the craziest dream. I dreamt I ate all that Greek food and, and now I'm done. I'm all finished. I'm, oh no, rice pudding, baklava, it never ends. Of all puddings, this is the greatest one because it's rice soaked in milk and then Tony's topped this with fresh cinnamon. Mmm, delicious and nutritious. I've got the baklava. As you can see, multiple layers there. This stringy sauce right here is the honey and cinnamon. Uh, more chopped nuts, multi layers of phyllo dough. Mm. I'm not gonna say it's light, but it is tasty. Mike just had a good meal, so I'll definitely be coming again. They seem to know everybody, and uh, I'm just really happy every time I come in here. You know what they say? When in Rome, no. Um, well, when in Greece, no. Um, ah. When in New Haven, it's gotta be the Greek olive.